Korean Quilt. Hey everybody, welcome back. It's time for Korean Quilt, your guide to the Korean language and culture. Okay, so let's pretend we're at a restaurant again, Richard. Okay. Okay, so Richard, if you're all finished with your meal here, why don't we get out of here? All right, let me pay though, Anna. No, 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 no. I'll hear nothing of that, young man. It's on me. No, no, no. Whoa, whoa. No. This one's on me. You pick up the bill next time. All right, you win. <laughs> okay, but I just want you to know I ate really well. 잘 먹었습니다. You what? I ate really well. 잘 먹었습니다. Okay, are you speaking a hybrid of English that I'm not familiar with there, Obi-Wan Anakin Obi? I'm just saying, what's polite in Korean in the same situation? Oh, you always love pulling one over on me with your wild and zany translations. But Anna's right, folks. After a meal in Korea, it's super polite. And also just common sense. To say to the person who has paid or treated you to the affair, that was great. Which in Korean comes out literally as, I ate well. Now, before we go on, let's get some pronunciation practice in here. I ate well. Or, thanks for a great meal. 잘 먹었습니다. 잘 먹었습니다. 잘 먹었습니다. Here the verb 먹다, to eat, gets put in the past tense, 먹었습니다, when conjugated formally, and added to 잘 or well. One interesting thing to note here is that there's no subject so that we assume it's the speaker. Right, so obviously many differences in culture and customs between the East and the West. But remember, next time you're out for a meal and someone treats you, 잘 먹었습니다. Thanks uh, very much. Right, right. Oh, it was so good. 잘 먹었습니다. And we'll see you back here on Korean Quilt next time. Okay, bye everybody. See you next time.